In 2015, a meal of raw fish left Mr. Tan Wee Boon a quadruple amputee. Clearly, this was no ordinary case of food poisoning. But even more worryingly, Mr. Tan was not alone. That year, more than 350 Singaporeans were infected with the same bacteria, a normally harmless bacteria known as Group B Streptococcus, or GBS. The 2015 GBS outbreak in Singapore was remarkable for two main reasons. First, prior to this outbreak, we thought GBS was mostly a problem for newborns or elderly individuals, patients with compromised immune systems. Second, we also didn't realize that GBS could be a foodborne disease. While raw fish was a common thread linking many of the patients with GBS, doctors needed more evidence to be sure that it was the cause. The genomic data, combined with epidemiology and clinical studies, were definitive. This proved for the first time that GBS could be a foodborne infection. Our work on the 2015 outbreak has huge potential implications for Southeast Asia, both for food security and economics. Therefore, to share these findings, my colleagues and I organized a regional workshop in December 2018 that was held at the Genome Institute of Singapore, part of ASTAR. Workshops like these, including researchers, hospitals, government agencies, and international organizations, are just one of the ways that research at ASTAR is making an international impact.